All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today I'm doing kind of like a throwback video, right? I feel like every couple months I say this, right? Like, oh, I'm doing another down bad video. And like every time I feel like I upload one of these videos, it's like the same old song and dance. I'm like, oh, I want to do more of these videos and whatnot, right? And y'all usually really like these videos because they're pretty funny and whatnot. But I just get so caught up in all the other shit going on, right? Like all the other situations that inevitably form and, you know, the dramas and all the other stuff that I cover here on the channel. Channel, but I'm kind of switching it up now, you know, like the whole term down bad, right? Like that's a little bit out of date, you know, that was a couple years ago at this point, you know, people aren't really saying that as much anymore. One thing I've noticed is it's all about the Riz now, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're trying to Riz people up, you know, you're trying to be Adolf Rizzler, you're trying to be Rizzlies, believe it or not, a Rizzly bear, if you will, you know? And with that being said, I wanted to take a look at some more like funny messages that people send, you know, where they're trying to like, you know, basically pick up a woman or whatever. Maybe they're DMing their crush or they're, they're deeming that girl, you know, that they've been wanting for a while, you know, and they just make a complete fool of themselves. And it's hilarious, right? Because somehow they always lack the self-awareness to realize like, oh, I'm actually being weird, you know, like I'm not talking to somebody in a normal capacity. I'm kind of being an oddball. They, they never see through that, right? They're always on some, oh, well, what did I do wrong kind of behavior, right? And that's always pretty funny to me, you know, because, well, obviously like to anyone who like isn't completely psychopathic, right? You can look at these and be like, yo, you completely failed. At, at any attempt that you could have made here, right? But, you know, I love doing these videos because they're just, you know, a, a little bit more relaxing, right? And it's something you can kind of just sit back at and, and just kind of laugh at, right? So I wanted to put together a classic type of Optimus video for you guys with a little bit of a new spin on it, right? We're not doing these down bad compilations no more. We call them Riz compilations now. So for our first Riz video here on the channel, let's go ahead, fuck it. I'm going to say 10,000 likes. I'm pretty certain y'all are not going to get there because that is a lot of likes. But man, if you you enjoy this type of video let me know bro because I'm always looking for something to upload to the channel I'm always looking for a fun type of video I can just crank out consistently and if you guys like this kind of stuff man I'm gonna keep doing this kind of stuff for y'all man so 10,000 likes let's see if y'all can run it up or not but with that being said let's go ahead and jump into the Riz if you guys will I might be overstepping my bounds by asking and if so then please tell me but I think that it's time for a nude yeah no I'm sure that it's time for a nude no, I meant several nudes, like four or five at least. No need to tell anyone, but I've always just been curious. I've always felt like you would look really good naked. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that I am. You know, upon further review, this one ain't even that horrible. Like, it's an L for sure, because dude got, like, screenshotted or whatever, and he's getting made fun of. But at the end of the day, you know, like, we've definitely seen some weirder, right? And even in this video, like, we're gonna take a look at some crazy ones here in a minute that just make this one, like, actually tame, but I don't really know what dude was going for here you know what I mean like usually bro like just think about it like this way man this is like I guess you can consider this the first universal rule of talking to somebody right if you have to like preface whatever you're about to say by basically saying oh I might be overstepping my boundaries I might be being a little weird I might be kind of killing the vibe or ruining the the you know the energy between us or whatever right if you gotta say that man to like preface whatever's coming next Almost always, you should just not say what you're about to say. Because 9.9999999999 repeating times out of 10, you're about to make a complete fucking fool of yourself. And unfortunately for bro, this is no different, right? Like, bro, you got caught asking for like four or five nudes, bro. You didn't even get hit with like the single shot. You didn't even get the double dip or the triple flip, bro. You got the four or more or five get live, bro. Like, that's crazy. Talking about, I've always felt like you would look really good naked. Naked, bro like that just sounds weird my man you cannot come into any conversation talking like that that is crazy hey there so just a quick one i've devised a plan where i comment on all of your instagram posts starting from today implying that we're an item and in turn putting other males off of approaching you after a few years of this let's say quote light stalking you will have no option but to accept my wedding proposal and move in with me i look forward to spending the rest of my life with you bye for now x bro in no position ever in your life and i mean like quit like literally ever in your life you know is it acceptable for you to have to say something like oh i've just been doing a couple years of let, let's just call it light stalking you know what i mean because like what does that really tell somebody you know what i mean like what do they what comes to mind when you hear that right like you know imagine you're like some beautiful woman right you know you already got dudes all in your dms all the time let's not pretend like these women aren't getting hit up by 80 dudes a day if they're bad right like you know you're just crawling through the primordial mud of just these fucking scumbag men with no good intentions 
all in your DMs, right? And you, you open the one from just like that weird dude in class, right? And he's talking about, oh, hey, I devised a plan where I run every man out of your life by commenting on all your posts. And after all the light stalking that I'm going to be performing against you and your family, you have no choice but to marry me, right? That sounds like you're about to get kidnapped and eaten. You know what I mean? Like if I was a woman in a concealed carry state at this point, I'm going to get my license or carrying unlicensed if it's legal. And I, I'm low key defending myself with lethal force if I see him. Cause like in all reality, bro, this is like actually fucking psychotic. You can't, you, you can't get away with this man. Like it just, <laughs> I mean, bro, in no circumstance ever should you ever consider anything you're doing light stalking when it comes to a woman, man. Like if you're getting to that point, bro, where you, I don't know, you're like fucking hunting her down and watching her walk home or something, bro. Like you got to go to prison, dude. Like it's over for you, man. They got to like castrate you or something, bro. Like it just, I, <laughs> I bro, like, you, how, like, what do you do? You know what I mean? As a, as a woman, when you see this, like I'm I, at that point, I'm ready to die. I'm gonna be real with you, man. Like I'm ready for any time I walk out of my apartment, that crossbow bolt's gonna go through my scalp and it's gonna cut all my fourth grade memories out my shit. You know what I mean? Like it just, bro, insanity on a scale of one to 10, you're a nine and I'm the one you need X cringe. No, Megan, I'll tell you what is cringe, all right, love? What's cringe is the fact that you probably moan on Twitter about lads being a piece of shit, and yet when sent a charming and quite frankly smooth message, you turn your back and insult me. With that, Megan, I bid you a good evening and hope that one day you find someone who is just as obnoxious as you, try my best to have it thrown in my face, gobsmacked. Hell no, nah, he did not describe his be uh, gobsmacked, bro. Oh, no way. Dude, like, I, I don't know, man. I feel like this dude, like, no insult to Jordan Peterson or whatever, but, like, I feel like he watched, like, an Andrew Tate or, like, Jordan Peterson video before, and he was like, all right, I'm gonna really fucking own this chick, bro. It's always, like, really weird to see these dudes do, like, this routine where they're like, you know, you probably, you know, are just worried about the wrong type of guy. You know what I mean? Like, you, you see a great guy like me, you know, the one that sends you a fucking corny message and just embarrasses himself in front of you, and then has a complete meltdown and becomes quote-unquote gobsmacked when, when told he's cringe. Y you know, you see a man like me, a high-value man here, and you just, you don't take the opportunity. But instead, you're on Twitter bitching about lads, you know what I mean? Like, you kinda, I don't know, bro, it just, like... If you gotta go out of your way to talk about like, oh, you know, I'm a good dude and I don't know why I'm getting fucked over, you know, like, usually, bro, it's something that you're doing, you know what I mean? Like, either, you know, you, you give off the vibe that you're gonna put them in a chili and eat them, or you're just straight up fucking ugly, or you don't have good hygiene, or you're not funny, I don't know, man, but it's something, and it's not them. And honestly, bro, if that was trying your best, you deserved to have it thrown in your face, because I don't know what the fuck that was, so. There are 7.5 billion people, and he is only one person. Yeah, but one person means so much. Okay, can I please have a pic of your sexy ass? I don't care if you're crying or not. Question mark? I brought... I love how he tries to act stunned, you know what I mean? Like, he's at the end of the sentence talking about question mark, you know, like, hey, why did you not respond? I don't know, probably because she's going through a fucking terrible breakup, you know, just like beside herself, you know, just emotional wreck. Oh my god, I love him so much, he was the best man ever and he's gone. And you got this one fucking weirdo, right, talking about, yo, let me get a pic of that, you know what I mean? Like, let, go ahead and snap that to me, dude. I don't care if you're crying or not, you know, whatever you're going through, that doesn't matter as long as I get my fucking ding a ling doing you know? Like, dude, come on, bro. <laughs> you could not have thought that was gonna work. Like, this isn't even a Hail Mary, you know what I mean? This is like, you know, you snap a Hail Mary, you get sacked and fumble in the end zone, the wide receiver picks it up, he punts it downfield, you know, someone catches it, tries to run it to the end zone, and fumbles again. Like, it's just an inconceivable L. That You had no shot of this working. Hey, gorgeous. Quick question, what makes you think I really want to talk when you send me a random pick and I don't answer? Truthfully, I don't have an answer for that because it wasn't B. It was a friend of mine and I truly wanted to say something, but it was wrong since I gave him the opportunity of having possession of my phone. I will take the time to apologize for his actions. I've just always found you stunning and have always had a thing for you throughout the years of us going to school. I'd really like to make up for my friend's actions on my phone. All right, so obviously this is not true. It's not his friend. It's not his boy who had his phone or whatever, right? He sent the pic to her. It's a girl he likes at school or whatever. She wasn't, you know, enjoying it or whatever you know she did not reciprocate that energy he wanted and so now he's talking about oh my friend did it like bro it, there's no way your friend took your phone and sent a dp to some girl at school off your phone bro 
What are you talking about, man? Like, are you, you really thought that was gonna work? You serious right now, man? You thought you were fucking pulling that card? Really, dude? It's just like, it's incredible how some of these dudes, like, that get themselves in these situations, like, the, the, the lengths they'll go to try and cover up for the fact that they did some weird stuff, right? Hey, man, sorry I sent you a picture of my unshaven sack and taters, right? Truthfully, I've just had a really big crush on you, but it wasn't even me. It was actually my friend who doesn't know you. He goes to a different school. He also lives in Canada. Canada, by the way. I, I don't know his name, but sorry my friend sent that picture to you on my phone. You remind me of Eva Braun. WTF? Question marks? I like it. That's a terrible thing to say. Is it? She was hot. Jesus H. I could be the Adolf to your Eva. Nah, I'll pass on the Nazi references. Like, Dude, oh my god, man, like, it should not have to be explained to you that you do not try and, you know, riz somebody up. Talking about, I'ma be the Adolf to your Eva, bro. Like, bro, what is wrong with you, man? Like, that that's actually crazy. Like, it doesn't matter if the person you're talking to is Jewish or not. Like, bro, that's just wild. You know what I mean? Like, you cannot get away with just saying some shit like that, my boy. What is actually wrong with you? Like, bro, it just blows my mind. Like, you read some of these messages, like, see the shit that they say, and you're like, bro, how did you ever think that? was gonna work like in, in in what universe did you sit down right have multiple opportunities to type what you're saying out and think about it before you even send it right and you just continued going down this path this is like when you're playing like fallout new vegas and you pick the absolute worst dialogue tree that just takes you on this twisted contorted path that like borderline ruins your reputation with a certain character in the game or something like the dude did this irl you know what i mean like he went out of his way to just completely screw this up and i'm gonna be real even if he didn't mention like the nazi stuff blatantly you know on his kanye west type beat behavior this dude had no shot in the world whatsoever like I, I just don't get it man like it actually blows my mind some of the shit that you see people on these things say anyway man with that being said hope y'all enjoyed the video if you did like i said make sure to leave a like 10k is a crazy goal but you know what we've done crazier shit here on the channel before so make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel follow me over on twitter and twitch at sub the optimus make sure to check out Shoptimus down below thank you to my watch optimus subscribers your support helps the channel tremendously and until my next video guys this is optimus well just reading riz messages i guess and uh, and signing out